A sangha Tibetan, Wiley, Thogs Med, traditional Chinese, Wuzhe Pinyin, Wuzhuo, Romaji, Mujaku, Florida. 4th century CE was one of the most important spiritual figures of Mahayana Buddhism and the founder of the Yogacara school. Traditionally, he and his half-brother Vasubandhu are regarded as the major classical Indian Sanskrit exponents of Mahayana Abhidharma, Vijnanavada awareness only thought and Mahayana teachings on the Bodhisattva path. Biography <inaudible> 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 According to later hagiographies, Asanga was born as the son of a high caste father in Purusapura present-day Peshawar in Pakistan, which at that time was part of the ancient kingdom of Gandhara. Current scholarship places him in the 4th century CE. He was perhaps originally a member of the Mahisasaka school or the Mulasavastavada school but later converted to Mahayana. According to some scholars, Asinga's frameworks for Abhidharma writings retained many underlying Mahisasaka traits, but other scholars argue that there is insufficient data to determine which school he originally belonged to. In the record of his journeys through the kingdoms of India, Shanzang wrote that Asanga was initially a Mahisasaka monk, but soon turned toward the Mahayana teachings. Asanga had a half brother, Vasubandhu, who was a monk from the Sarvastivada school. Vasubandhu is said to have taken up Mahayana Buddhism after meeting with Asanga and one of Asanga's disciples. Asanga spent many years in serious meditation and study under various teachers, but the narrative of the 6th century monk Paramatha states that he was unsatisfied with his understanding. Paramatha then recounts how he used his meditative powers to travel to Tuzita heaven to receive teachings from Maitreya Bodhisattva on emptiness, and how he continued to travel to receive teachings from Maitreya on the Mahayana Sutras, Shanzang c. 602–664, a Chinese monk who travelled to India to study in the Yogacara tradition tells a similar account of these events. In the Great Mango Grove five or six li to the southwest of the city Ayodhya, there is an old monastery where Asanga Bodhisattva received instructions and guided the common people. At night he went up to the place of Maitreya Bodhisattva in Tuzita heaven to learn the Yogacarabhumi Sastra, the Mahayana Sutra Alamkara Sastra, the Madhyanta Vibhaga Sastra, etc. In the daytime, he lectured on the marvelous principles to a great audience. Modern scholars disagree on whether the figure of Maitreya in this story is to be considered as Asinga's human teacher or as a visionary experience in meditation. Scholars such as Frau Wallner held that this figure, sometimes termed Maitreya Natha, was an actual historical person and teacher. Other scholars argue that this figure was the tutelary deity of Asanga Devata as well as numerous other Yogacara masters, a point noted by the 6th century Indian monk Southiramati. Whatever the case, Asanga's experiences led him to travel around India and propagate the Mahayana teachings. According to Taranatha's history of Buddhism in India, he founded 25 Mahayana monasteries in India. Topic Works. Asanga went on to write some key treatises, shastras of the Yogacara school. Over time, many different works were attributed to him or to Maitreya, with Asanga as transmitter. Although there are discrepancies between the Chinese and Tibetan traditions concerning which works are attributed to him. Modern scholars have also problematized and questioned these attributions after critical textual study of the sources. The many works attributed to this figure can be divided into the three following groups. The first are three works which are widely agreed by ancient and modern scholars to be by Asanga. Mahayanasamgraha Summary of the Great Vehicle, a systematic exposition of the major tenets of the Yogacara school in ten chapters. Considered his magnum opus, survives in one Tibetan and four Chinese translations. Abhidharma Samukhya, a short summary of the main Mahayana Abhidharma doctrines, in a traditional Buddhist Abhidharma style similar to non-Mahayana expositions. 
survives in Sanskrit. According to Walpola Rahula, the thought of this work is closer to that of the Pali Nikayas than is that of the Theravadan Abhadama. Zhanyang Shengzhao Lun, variously retranslated into Sanskrit as Ariyadezanavakyapana, Ayapravakanubhasya, Prakaranariyazazanazastra, and Sasanodbhavana. A work strongly based on the Yogacarabhumi. Only available in Shanzang's Chinese translation, but parallel Sanskrit passages can be found in the Yogacarabhumi. Attributed works of unsure authorship The next group of texts are those that Tibetan hagiographies state were taught to Asanga by Maitreya and are thus known as the five dharmas of Maitreya in Tibetan Buddhist scholasticism. According to D. S. Rug, the five works of Maitreya are mentioned in Sanskrit sources from only the 11th century onwards. As noted by S. K. Hookham, their attribution to a single author has been questioned by modern scholars. The traditional list is Mahayana Sutralamkarakarika, the adornment of Mahayana Sutras, Tib. Theg Pa Chen Poi Mdoc Gyan, which presents the Mahayana path from the Yogacara perspective. Dharmadharmatavabhaga, distinguishing phenomena and pure being. Tib. Chos Dang Chos Nyidrnam Pa Bide Pa, a short Yogacara work discussing the distinction and correlation between phenomena dharma and reality. Madhyantavabhagakarika, distinguishing the middle and the extremes. Tib. Dbus Dang Mtha Rnam Pa Bide Pa, 112 verses that are a key work in Yogacara philosophy. Abhisamayalankara, ornament for clear realization. Tib. Mngon Para Togs Pari Gyan, a verse text which attempts a synthesis of Prajnaparamita doctrine and Yogacara thought. There are differing scholarly opinions on authorship. John Makransky writes that it is possible the author was actually Arya Vimuktisena, the 6th century author of the first surviving commentary on this work. Makransky also notes that it is only the later 8th century commentator Harivadra who attributes this text to Maitreya, but that this may have been a means to ascribe greater authority to the text. As Brunholtzl notes, this text is also completely unknown in the Chinese Buddhist tradition. Ratnagatravabhaga Exposition of the Jeweled Lineage, Tib. Theg Pa Chen Po Rgyud Bla Mari B Stan, aka Uttaratantra Sastra, a compendium on Buddha nature attributed to Maitreya via a Sangha by the Tibetan tradition. The Chinese tradition attributes it to a certain Saramati 3rd, 4th century CE, according to the Wyan Patriarch Fazang. According to S. K. Hukam, modern scholarship favors Saramati as the author of the RGV. He also notes there is no evidence for the attribution to Maitreya before the time of Maitrapa 11th century. Peter Harvey concurs, finding the Tibetan attribution less plausible. According to Karl Brunholtzl, the Chinese tradition also speaks of five Maitreya texts first mentioned in Dunlun's Yujia Lunji, but considers them as consisting of the Yogacarabhumi, asterisk Yogavibhaga now lost, Mahayana Sutralamkaraka, Madhyantavibhaga, and the Vajracheta while the Yogacarabhumi Sastra treatise on the levels of spiritual practitioners, a massive and encyclopedic work on yogic praxis, has traditionally been attributed to Asanga or Maitreya in toto, but most modern scholars now consider the text to be a compilation of various works by numerous authors, and different textual strata can be discerned within its contents. However, Asanga may still have participated in the compilation of this work. The third group of texts associated with Asanga comprises two commentaries the Karikasaptati, a work on the Vajracadika, and the Arya Samdhinirmakana Bhashya. Commentary on the, Samdhinirmakana. the attribution of both of these to Asanga is not widely accepted by modern scholars. <laughs> 